Slow the Sloth and the Banana, written by Janine Padiachi, inspired by Davina Padiachi. Can you see Slow the Sloth? One sunny morning, Slow the Sloth woke up feeling quite hungry. She decided to have a banana for breakfast. She looked up and down and all around, but could not see a banana tree in sight. Look, look, and look some more. She started slowly swinging through the trees, hoping to find a banana tree soon. Swing, swing, and swing some more. After a short while, she was getting tired, so she decided to stop for a quick nap in an apple tree. Nap, nap, and nap some more. She woke up and spotted a banana tree nearby. He started to slowly swing towards it. Swing, swing, and swing some more. Slow the sloth reached the banana tree and picked one that looked ready to be eaten. Mm. She felt tired again after all that swinging and picking. So she decided that she would nap again and then eat her banana. She found a comfy branch in a pear tree nearby and fell asleep. Nap, nap and nap some more. She woke with a start. Someone had peeled and ate half of her banana. At least she still had the other half to eat. She peeled it and slowly ate the rest of the banana. Munch, munch, and munch some more. Slow the sloth was full, and she realized that it was time for her mid-morning nap. She stretched a little and fell asleep on the branch in the pear tree. Nap, nap, and nap some more. The End this story teaches an attitude of gratitude. That is, be grateful for what you have and also make the most of what you have. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future stories. Peace out.